What's up guys, how you doing? Now, this guy is focused on how to dodge these motherfuckers, then instead of using it. Because everyone can hit the button and shoot with that thing. This guide is more for the new players, because I'm sure everyone knows this that's already been playing for a while. Now, I'm sure everyone here will say that Osmers are annoying and that they have no skill, etc. But unfortunately, these guns are needed since there are like car or mission drop offs and shit. Now, there are people that use them for close range encounters, and that's the reason those Osmos are named as most new guns in this game, together with the OPGL. But of course, they are useless when you know what to do against them, so I'm gonna show it to you. So let's get started with it. Now you all know Osmos are one hit, one kill with a direct hit. Now I always got Kevlar implants with me. It depends on the situation since Cloving Agent is better for the op other opposition. But if the Osmo opposition is too annoying, I grab my Kevlar implants. By the way, the price of the Kevlar implants is 10k, but that's just the tier 1 Kevlar implants. Kevlar implants 1 is enough to survive a rocket. That's the good thing about Kevlar. But the downside is it makes you slower, and the higher Kevlar implants you have, the slower you will walk or run. So I suggest you only use Kevlar 1. Because Kevlar 3 doesn't let you survive two hits from Osmas in a row, so it doesn't really have any use. Now especially on close encounters when some noob is hitting you on close range, it's nice to wear your Kevlar. Because nothing is more awesome when you meet each other around the corner and he suicides while you stand there like nothing happened. Alright. For the rest of this guide, I'm not wearing any Kevlar. Now, you all know that Osmas are powerful, but slow, because it takes some time before it hits the target. When he shoots at some distance, it's easy to walk away from it. Even when driving, it's easy to just keep focused on the rocket and flank to the left or right when he shoots. Personally, I always flank to the right if it's possible, since most people drive on the right side of the road, so the chance will be smaller you will hit another player when you flank the rocket. Okay, now an Osma is a bitch when you're hiding behind a wall. Just keep your distance from the corner when the rocket comes your way. Because when you're standing more from the corner, the radius of the rocket will kill you. As you can see, my climate stands right next to the corner and did not survive the blast, while I hit the wall behind him. Now you also got this with the hiding behind cars. You all know that hiding behind a car will get you killed when the Osma hits the car. By standing more away from it, you will still have your cover and survive the exploding car. Alright, last thing. When you respawn in the mission, pick your car carefully when you have an Osma as opposition. There are a few cars that can survive an Osma shot, and they can be very handy if you want to rush in the Osma user and kill him. Well, of course the dump truck and the security fan can survive an Osma shot, but also the Dalton Fresno or the Vegas. In the later stadium of the game, you'll be able to buy upgrades for your car to survive a rocket, but for now, you have to do it with these cars. So, if you see them around, it's the best to pick one of these cars, since the Dalton and the Vegas still got a nice speed to drive with. Alright, that's it. I hope you new players think this uh, guide was useful. Stay tuned for more guides and I'll catch you in the next video. And thanks to Morris for helping me out with this video. See you guys!